Hello everybody, how's it going? My name is Albert Huang and uh, in this video I'm going to talk to you about a project that I'm working on. And the project is called Graph StarCraft. Now for this project what I want to do is I want to create an online resource, a tool that helps us build StarCraft build orders. A tool that is interactive and a tool that will help me optimize um, my build order to whatever I need, I guess. Uh, now if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'm talking about this right here. This is a screenshot from a computer game called StarCraft 2 that came that was released earlier this year. And in this game there are lots of things that we want to be graphing. Lots of things that we want to know the status of across the dimension of time. Uh, the whole point of the game is you want to build these units and these units destroy your opponent. Uh, this is a real-time strategy. So these units destroy your opponent, but you can't build these units until you have a certain structure composition. Uh, and certain structures are dependent on other structures, right? So you can't, like, for example, you can't build this structure until this structure is finished building. Um, and then you can't build structures or units until you have a certain amount of these things down here, which are minerals, or these things, which is gas. Uh, so you need gas, you need minerals, and then there's another thing, you need supply to build these units, all these little units. You need other sorts of buildings to uh, allow you to do that. Um, now all these things, uh, you know, when you play this game a lot, the whole point is to optimize it so that you are better than the, other, than the opponent, right? So that you can have more of these units and a better composition of these units than your opponent can have in a certain amount of time. So it takes a lot of resource management and a lot of time management. And that's what this graph is trying to do. So really briefly taking a look, I'm going to refresh really quickly. Um, what's going on here is you have, uh, you have up here your build order. And your build order is very closely related to this thing down here, which is your economy. right? Um, over here you have buildings, and each building can only do one thing at one time, like the command center can only build one SCV at a time. And any time you build anything, uh, it's going to affect your economy. So when I move the construction of my supply depot to the right or to the left, it changes you know, where my minerals are. Now, uh, right now, this whole thing is in really rough draft form, uh, and actually that's why I'm making this video, because I'm trying to find other jQuery developers out there who want to work on this project, because I don't want to do all this work by myself. I mean, as cool as it is, I got other stuff in my life to do. Um, uh, but the, so right now, you can like build a marine before you finish constructing your barracks or whatever. Um, but in terms of like what I see for the future of this tool, um, this is what I see. Uh, this is something that I made in, um, in Excel a while back. And this is a chart for a build order that I found on the internet. What I did is I went online, found the build order, played against the computer, and then watched the replay of myself. And then I took down all this data. This is all the data that I took. It was such a long time. <laughs> I mean, this, there's a lot of work that went into this, and in like more work than I was prepared for. But I was already like halfway through, and I was like, whatever, I'll just fucking finish it. Um, I'm really happy that I finished it. Uh, it's really cool. It's really cool. So anytime you build like a unit, so let's say you know I'm building SCV, you know supply number nine. When I build it, I lose 50 minerals on the construction of the SCV. I gain one supply, right? And then this is graphing out the supply cap. Anytime I build a supply depot, I can get more supply. Right? So available supply is the purple line, supply is the light green line, and then the dark green line is gas. Right? And the blue line, of course, is minerals. Um, so charting it out like this, uh, this the only thing this does is make me want to drag shit around so I can find out like, you know, what happens when I like put this lab over here. Is there any way I can put this lab over here and do a, a factory trick, a factory lift off and drop trick instead of getting the Marines? And you know, I have all these questions going on in my head when I see this and I want to like click these blocks and move them around. Um, so that's the idea and you know, th this is where I envision this project going. But right now I only have minerals. 
and right now I only have like you know these things over here at SCV they don't work they're just they're just because they're pretty and they you know they show you what I want to do with this kind of thing um, yeah I want to have gas I want to have supply I want to have um, and then I want to be able to switch between all three races and then have different rules for like you know when a drone builds something um, when a drone builds it, it like you lose one worker and actually for this um, this is really interesting when you when you have in the beginning of the game you only have six SCVs you only have you know six workers so your uh, your mineral collection rate is rather shallow and that's you can see here that this this line is rather shallow but when you have like 17 SCVs over here check it out your sh your mineral collection rate is way steeper that's because you're gathering more minerals per second and all this data was taken from some team liquid uh, posts earlier one by SC Biff who talks all about like who made this thing which is an awesome awesome spreadsheet of like minerals per worker count it's awesome like when you have 17 minerals you make 700 minerals a minute do you know that um, and then I also back that up with research done by this guy uh, Pius Flea who um, among other things says that you know you want three minerals per uh, per mineral patch three SCVs per mineral patch and you get this many minerals per game minute uh, I took all that information I crammed that into here um, yeah so when you're building a building you lose a worker temporarily and then you gain them back when you're done building the building uh, let's see what else oh yeah uh, this up here was built by a guy named the Grubzian oh that's his internet handle at least I stole his code this code right here his markup was by the way quite splendid I mean <laughs> this is a plugin for jQuery and this is like really pretty and I took it and oh my god I wreaked havoc on it I mean this looks pretty maybe I don't know not really up here um, but uh, it the back end of it is really ugly um, so yeah instead of months and days we're talking in minutes and seconds and then also I took uh, jqplot which is a, uh, a jQuery plugin for plotting graphs and charts and stuff and that's what's doing the dynamic charting down here in any case uh, yeah I definitely want to open this up this project up to other other StarCraft fans who are also jQuery developers want to play with it uh, I'd be happy to you know clean up the code with you and work in a code base that we can both work in maybe you know someone can take Terran and someone can take uh, Protoss and someone can take Zerg or whatever um, but yeah I mean if you are a jQuery developer if you have friends who are StarCraft developers and jQuery developer I mean sorry StarCraft fans and jQuery developers or if you have friends who just owe you like favors or if you want to just pay me lots of money to make this happen and not go to work um, you know, please, especially the la the latest one, if, if you're that person, please get in contact with me. Um, you can find more info about me uh, at uh, at this website. This is me, albert-huang.com. That's Albert, H-W-A-N-G. Um, yeah, so get in contact with me, and um, uh, I would be very delighted to uh, share it with you and not do as much work because as fun as this is I got other stuff in my life <laughs> in any case uh, thank you for watching um, and uh, yeah get in contact with me if you have anything I guess that's it thanks for watching <laughs>